color came on. So that's the only thing I'm going to have there. The second thing is, I have power that's inside here, up in front here, for the, um, the uh, uh, DVD drive. So I'm going to drop power onto that also. And then take your four, traditional four pin. And I'm going to just go ahead and slide that on here. And that's nothing fancy about that. And because I have this other fan down here, I'm going to take this fan and I'm going to daisy chain it on here also. So I get this out of the way. And it's right here. You got the meh, female. And now I got fans hooked up, power for the hard drive hooked up, and also power for the um, for the uh, hard drive and the optical drive. Power is good. The only other power I'm going to put in here, the thing that's kind of neat with this, this chassis, it comes with some of the unique little power adapter here that's a little different. This power adapter, or with this chassis, comes with a neat little power meter. I mean, it doesn't come with the chassis, but it comes with the power supply, a little power meter here that, you know, to regulate how much voltage is actually going back and forth, which is kind of neat, how much wattage. And so um, it comes with a little Velcro. I took a, it comes with a, that, that little plate here. I'm just going to pop this thing in here, line it up, and literally, there we go. Velcro's ready to go. It's all in. I'm going to open up the front panel one more time. Find a good location for that. Pop out the one I don't want in here. I'll take one that solid one out. I'll take this one I just put together. Drop that thing in. And then, you know, this is the same, you do that same plate if you put in a deep uh, floppy drive. So now that's in, good to go. Power the inside here with this little unique power source that comes from the um, from this power supply here, and I'll go ahead and just plug that thing in. Straight and right there, and now I am good to go. So power for the meter, power for the hard drive, power for the uh, optical drive. Let's talk about the optical drive, the DVD drive. You have a cable, typical ribbon cable. That's with on the uh, thing they can actually color code it. This comes right from Gigabyte. It's part of the chassis or part of the motherboard. And so what we want to do is you can see the green plugs right into the green on the motherboard here. I'm going to pop that in. And that's your control cable for your optical drive. You have two here. You can tell which is the end. The other two are close together, so you can actually put two devices in here. We only have one right now. And you just got to make sure you put it in the right direction. And again, it's, you know, it only goes in one way, so just look twice and, and we'll see because the you know, first thing we're going to do is going to load up the, um, the OS and we're going to need to have that cable in there. The second cable we're going to have is for the hard drive. And that's going to be the uh, SATA cable with the SATA hard drive. On here you've got multiple locations. This one you can actually put up to 10 SATA cables. So, so Box on here. I know the order, you know, it's just so you really don't have to worry about it. But I know that that happens to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. And then you have this one that's at a 45 degree angle. These gigabyte boards are real nice because it actually has this lock in here, so any vibration at all won't pull out. So I'm just going to pop that in and voila. Pop. Control cables on there, control cables on it, and I pretty much I'm good to go. Now, let's go to some of the things are a little bit more challenging sometimes. I actually have, this is the, and this is always different with a lot of chassis. Same number, same controls and everything else, but it actually has little cables here. I'm going to drop my glasses on so I can see a little better. So you actually have, you know, for your hard drive lead, ATD lead, reset lead, power lead, and power switch. So that goes on this front location up here. And this is the, probably the most tedious and hardest to figure out. So in this, in your manual that comes with the motherboard, you look up here and, let's see, okay, here it is. Page 31 tells you exactly, exactly where it goes, okay? So, looking at the orientation, same way, I notice that my hard drive leave is right up front. Okay, and this is something I've seen many, many people uh, put on the wrong, put in the wrong locations because it really is very easy to make mistakes here. 
So they're not, they're just make break for the most part, switches here, but let's make sure you take your time and pop those on. So I got all four of those on there. And uh, typically with these things, we end up having the verbiage that's on the little pins there faces out of the motherboard, not in, because it is, there's polarity, as you can say, negative, positive. I just kind of a standard rule, I always look at it and it'll tell you on the ear also. Black is typically negative and, and so on. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and put the, we've got uh, a USB and a second USB because we have the USB plugs up front here. Yep, and that's USB, USB. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, you can see in here we've got locations that are pretty, pretty much called out, they're orange plugs here. I'm going to drop in and they are pinned out too, the same type of thing, they only go in one way. Pretty easy to drop those in, there's two of those that are on the chassis. Okay, then you have your, and this is a firewire which location, and then this is interesting because it's just the opposite, there's one pin missing, or plugged, and it's just opposite USB so you don't mix it up. So knowing that, you have this one's plugged, and it actually go right in to location. So you can kind of see here, get all three points in, we got all the uh, front panel connectors in, and the last one we're going to install is going to be the uh, audio. So you have two locations, and we have the digital audio, which is this one right here, which is a green plug, which is on again on the motherboard right in front here. Pop that in, and again, this one has a, a pin also plugged, but it's in a little different location, so again, should be no reason to mix those up with what's happening with the uh, USB or fire. So, there we go. Power on, all the control cables on, um, you know, right here also, it comes with a really cool little plate here. I thought this was really neat with this board. It comes with a external, so you can plug in power. It looks like it's SATA power and also um, a, a SATA connect, uh, connector. So I'm going to take out one of these plates that I know I'm not going to put anything in. So I'm going to screw the screw here. Drop out the little plate here. I'm going to drop this into that location, and because I know the ordering of order of the the setup plugs, I'm just going to pop them into some of the ones that aren't being used right now. Okay, and the same thing with this power. Since I have a spare power here, I'm going to take this power, run it down here. Okay, just get a little bit better wiring in here. And so I'll take this power and power this plug up. So I'll take this power, plug it in here, and all it's doing is giving me an opportunity to do, uh, you know, plug in some hard drives externally, just right off the back side of the, of the, of the system here, which is kind of cool. And then these SATA plugs, just like I plugged in the one that's the SATA drive here, I'm just going to plug it into two additional ports, which are right next to that. And then I can actually, you know, a lot of times you can do external uh, drives and plug them in the USB or fire. This will actually give a little bit better performance of that drive. This is what I need to set up. Okay, so now we've got the setup, power, all the control cables in. And now I'm going to go ahead and do my, uh, uh, do what I mentioned before. I'm going to take out, actually I'm going to set this down, put it flat for a moment. And I'm going to take out that back plate that I mentioned before. I'm going to remove so I can put this, this water cooling, cooling, cooling unit in. So four screws. And nice thing, the way they built this for the AMD platform is doing that, taking it out, pretty straightforward. Put that aside. Take this unit. And it comes with, you know, with, for the other guys, you actually have some additional plates you've got to mount down here. But this one, they give these little extensions, and all I'm going to do is just put these on finger tight. Okay, there's four, and all it's doing is extending the, the grip for the screws. Okay. Put that on there. And go to the other two. And, you know, uh, because I've been messing around with this thing, I actually wiped off the thermal grease that came with it. So what we're going to do now, 
So we have this off, this good to go. I'm going to take 